So here is the setup to measure the wavelength of uh, hydrogen and helium uh, spectrum. So, so let me show you the uh, setup. So what we have is a, a gas discharge tube. So this one is uh, helium and we have a hydrogen in here. So, so basically what you have is uh, uh, some hydrogen or helium gas inside this tube. And there are a couple of electrodes. There's one here, there's one there. And then of course you have to supply some uh, high voltage. So we're gonna use this power supply here uh, to supply the high voltage, which is of course connected to the outlet. So let me show you how you put this inside the power supply. Just push it in here and goes in like that. Then if you just turn it on, the light will come on here. So, so this is, you see here is the helium light. We come back to that in a minute. And this one is the hydrogen one. So let me turn on the hydrogen one. So here's the hydrogen lamp light you see here. And then I'm going to open up the program here. Um, so here is the program we are going to use. Uh, from the desk, uh, desktop, you can see 001 base 32. So click on that and it opens up. And you can see here uh, the display. And you don't see any peaks, I'll show you in a minute. But on the y axis, you have the intensity in a unit basically called counts. And then the wavelength is in nanometer. So you see the wavelength on the x axis and the intensity in counts on the y axis. Okay. So the reason you don't see any peaks, so maybe a minor peaks there because the the fiber optic cable head here is not oriented properly. So basically this uh, fiber optic cable is connected to the back of the computer there. Uh, so what you need to do is adjust this so that the head is close to the light there. So let me show you the display here as I move the head to the close to the light. So as you can see, uh, the head is close to the light now, and then you can see all the peaks. But when you look at these peaks, uh, we are gonna concentrate on this visible spectrum here. Uh, but the problem is, if you look at these peaks here, uh, these two are at the highest intensity count, all right? So just to measure the intensities proportionally, uh, what we need to do is to make sure that only one of them has the highest intensity, okay? So what we do for that is to make some adjustment to the head again, so that only one of them shows you as the highest peak. So let me make some adjustments, so something like that. And uh, so, so you can see that we have uh, basically only one with the highest intensity, other ones are less, so now we can measure the wavelength and the intensity counts, all right? Okay, so to measure the wavelength and intensity counts, you're gonna click on this, uh, cursor here all right when you click on that this green line comes up and you can line it up so let me line it up with the first peak and then after you do that make sure you adjust this so that you have the highest intensity count go back here you can look at these two numbers there uh, the first number is the wavelength the second number is the intensity count uh, sorry the last number I guess is the intensity count close to 4,000 you can see there so basically you can uh, write down the values now so you need to write, okay, so you see that we, are, we have lined up with the first peak. So you're gonna write down the wavelength and the intensity count, all right? So the first number there you see uh, in nanometer is the wavelength and the last number is the intensity count. So write that down. And then I'm gonna go to the second peak, click on the second peak and then try to uh, Align it so you get that, uh, you know, you get the highest value for the peak. And then come back here, read the wavelength and the intensity count for that. So this is for the second line and the intensity count. Let me go to the third one, which is right here. And let me adjust so that the peak lines up. I'm looking at the intensity count to get a higher number there. So it looks like that's the highest number there. So now we can read the wavelength for that, okay? So remember that the first number is the wavelength, the last number is the intensity count, all right? And then there's one more we need. So it looks like there's one right there. So let me see whether I can see that. Um, looks like it's going down. So let me go back the other way.
right about there, I guess, somewhere around there, pretty close anyway. So you can write down the values. So let's leave it right there. So you see that, okay, so go ahead and read the wavelength and intensity count for that, okay? So these are the uh, data you need, okay? So we, we read the uh, intensity count and the wavelength for this one, this one, this one, the last one there. 